some of the people that influenced uh, me in the bluegrass, you know, picking arena were Joe Mavis, Tony Rice, uh, Eddie Poirier. Uh, they were really good pickers. Here's a Joe Mavis lick that I thought was really cool. <laughs> He would play that at an end of a song to signify the end, and it was a really cool thing. I'm going to show you a couple of bluegrass, you know, uh, folk tunes. Uh, the first one's actually French Canadian. Uh, it's called French Reel. So it's just basically two uh, parts that loop, you know, eternally until you've decided that you've had enough. <laughs> This is Saint Anne's Real. So I spent about a year doing, uh, you know, bluegrass tunes. I used to know uh, quite a lot more, but those are just three examples there for you. For those of you that come from a shred background, the, uh, the bluegrass stuff isn't necessarily going to be symmetrical in terms of, uh, you know, three notes per string all the way across, four notes per string. Uh, it's going to be in service of the melody, uh, not necessarily just, you know, shapes up and down the fretboard. So uh, keep that in mind if you're, learning, if you're learning these bluegrass pieces that sometimes you'll be forced to pick with inside the, you know, inside the strings. <laughs> Uh, which is generally where problems will arise with uh, the right hand. And the whole idea of the technique being in service of the melody, um, that kind of led me, you know, the, the bluegrass method of uh, picking, I tried to apply the same right hand technique to uh, playing classical with the pick. Uh, the difference between bluegrass and shred is that the musical passages don't conform to any... Um, you know, symmetrical pattern, you know, like I was saying before, you know, three notes per string, or two notes, that sort of thing. Um, the lines involve a lot of open strings uh, because uh, with, you know, uh, with steel string acoustic guitars, uh, you know, the intonation and everything generally really is best, you know, in first position, in the open position. Uh, that's where the melodies sound the richest. <laughs> 